Welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through the installation process for the Cerebrum Tire Sensor Kit. Each do-it-yourself kit can be installed at home or by any qualified tire technician. The standard kit itself comes with four sensors, a tire scraper, a prep cleaner, as well as the adhesive for installation. You're also going to need a clean towel and a pre-buff cleaner or an acetone in order to properly clean the inner liner of the tire. You'll also need your smartphone device in order to see when the sensors are activated. Now that we've got everything, let's get started. The first step is to activate the tire sensor. To do this, you can locate the Cerebrum text on the base housing. There you'll find the letter M, where you can peel back the base housing and reveal a small hole in the sensor. Use the activation pin to insert into that hole, press firmly, and this will activate the sensors. You can confirm the sensors are activated using the Cerebrum app, navigating to the sensor setup screen, and hitting the refresh button. There you'll see the sensor ID pop up. Next, we're gonna prepare the inner liner of the tire. To do this, you're going to be placing the Cerebrum sensor in the center of the section width of the tire, basically the center of the tire. To help, you can mark the tire with a marker or a paint pen so you can see where you need to be cleaning. Using the provided cleaner, spray generously on the location on the inner liner. After spraying generously, use the provided scraper tool. This will remove most of the oil and contaminants from the tire inner liner. You'll want to follow this up by using a clean rag and then multiple sprays and scrapes from the inner liner to get off all of the contaminants. You'll also want to use the acetone or pre-buff in order to properly clean the inner liner. Once the tire is cleaned, it will be sticky to the touch, whereas a new tire that hasn't been cleaned will be slippery. Most tires have a smooth section in the center of the section width where you can apply the Cerebrum sensors. However, some have variations and we recommend this should be grinded down similarly to a tire patch preparation process. If you don't feel comfortable with this, this is something all tire technicians are familiar with and can easily do. Once the tire has been properly prepared and cleaned, you can take the next steps to installation of the sensor. Using the provided adhesive, generously apply the adhesive to the back of the base housing. You'll want to cover the entire area of the back of the housing. Once you've provided a generous amount of adhesive to the back of the base housing, you can place the sensor on the inner liner. Be sure to orient the Cerebrum text per the instructions. This is important to ensure proper functionality and calculation of tread depth and alignment. Once the sensor has been applied to the inner liner, apply a moderate amount of pressure with both hands. Apply pressure for approximately 45 to 60 seconds to be sure the adhesive tacks to the inner liner. Use both hands to ensure even and thorough pressure is applied to the entire sensor. After holding for about 60 seconds, wiggle the housing to make sure that the bond is secured. Use your fingertips to run pressure along the circle outer edge of the base housing. This will squeeze out any excessive adhesive. We also recommend that you apply a little more adhesive to the outer circle of the base housing. This will make sure that the sensor is properly sealed and won't come off during use. After you've completed these steps, check one more time that the sensor is discoverable and showing up on your Cerebra map. That's it, you're ready to go. For more information, head to our website to check out installation guides and more videos on how to get the most out of your Cerebrum sensors.